اعوذبلشیطرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آئی موسٹلی اسٹارٹ مائی لیکچرز ود دس لائٹ جسٹ ٹو ایمفوسائز دا فیکٹ دیٹ وٹ وی آر انڈرسٹینڈنگ آر ریمبرنگ ایٹ دا مومنٹ ول گائڈ اس ول ہیلپ اس ٹو ایویلویٹ ڈفرینٹ میڈیکل فیکٹس ان فیوچر وی آر اسٹارٹنگ our topic of enzyme and inshallah we will conclude it in 7 to 8 lectures the lecture outline for today's lecture is introduction of enzymes and nomenclature of enzymes the reference book as you know for the medical biochemistry are harper lippincott and mustak in harper latest edition which is 31st edition you may find the course of enzyme in a three lectures starting from the lect- uh, st- uh, the three chapters starting from the chapter 7 on page 156 and in a lippincott seventh edition which is the latest edition on page 53 in a chapter uh, chapter number 5 in essential of medical biochemistry volume 1 on page 139 chapter number Six. What are enzymes? Enzymes are biological catalyst. So before discussing anything about uh, enzyme, it's better to have a look on a brief look on the feature of catalyst. Catalyst is a Greek word meaning to dissolve. Means to dissolve any issue, dissolve any matter. it's just like a troubleshooter so in a chemistry a catalyst is a substance that can be added to a reaction to increase the reaction rate without getting consumed in that process so the basic feature of catalyst that it increases the rate of reaction it converts the substrates into products quickly but without getting consumed it remains permanent at the end of the reaction and can be utilized repeatedly for that particular reaction however it modify during that reaction and uh, this fact we will elaborate in a future lectures there are millions and trillions of spontaneous reactions happening in our body to maintain the normal physiology of the body means the homeostasis so metabolism is some of all chemical reaction involved in maintaining the living state of cells and organisms Metabol- uh, metabolism grossly divided into the catabolism and anabolism so after the brief discussion of uh, catalysis catalyst and metabolism now we come on the main topic which is enzymes by definition protein catalyst that increases the rate of reactions without being changed in overall process are called enzymes so enzymes are basically proteins in nature which increases the rate of reaction and does not consume in that particular reaction enzyme thus direct all the metabolic events happening in our body so enzymes can convert a single substrate into single product a into b like isomerases and transferases we will see in the lecture of our classification of enzymes a single substrate into multiple products like hydrolases or lyases a multiple substrate like a plus b into c like uh, ligases 
or multiple substrates into multiple products we will see in our future discussion as we go on with this topic of our enzymes how the enzyme do all these miracles or these magical things it increases the rate of reaction by decreasing the activation energy if we focus if we consider a is being converted into the b and without enzymes we can you can appreciate the blue line and uh, with enzymes you can appreciate the red line it decreases the activation energy and how it do it we will see it in our future lectures so all enzymes are mostly protein in nature however some rnas like ribozymes can act like enzymes there is there is a famous saying however it's not a correct that all enzymes are protein in nature while the all proteins not are not enzymes mostly the globular proteins are enzyme in nature uh, but there are few enzymes which are not protein in nature that are rnas or ribosomes enzymes make the life on earth possible without enzyme life is not possible on this earth in this world how they do it they do it by participating in the breakdown of nutrients to supply energy or chemical building blocks whatever we eat uh, either carbohydrates or proteins or whatever we take Uh, through our respiratory system like oxygen it converts in the in it into the energy biomolecules and basic building blocks and body do it by the help of enzymes by assembling these building blocks into proteins dna membranes cells and tissues and by harnessing of energy to the power of the cells for its motility purpose for its new neuronal functions or for its muscular contraction it is the basically these are the enzyme on which our basis of essentials or non essential biomolecules depends like essential amino acids are those amino acids which we must have to take uh, in our diet why because the enzymes needed to produce those amino acids are not present in our body so there are thousands of enzyme in the living organism showing great diversity in their action so to differentiate them their naming is very important so each enzyme is assigned by the two names according to the lipan code which is uh, first name is a recommended name or convenient for everyday use the second naming system is systematic name which is used when an enzyme must be identified without any ambiguity basically these two systems are recommended name or systematic names depends on the three principle basic principles the first principle or first basis is uh, depends on the substrate which are being converted into product like uh, uh, we simply attaches a suffix as with that substrate and 
name that enzyme like uh, sucrase sucrose we attach a suffix as with the sucrose uh, and then uh, the name become uh, the name of enzyme become sucrase for lactose we can uh, correlate lactose with uh, the enzymes lactase urea with the urease the second basis for the nomenclature of enzyme is the kind of reaction they they are catalyzing if uh, in a substrate water is being add and uh, breaking the uh, larger molecule into smaller mo molecule we can uh, name that enzyme particular enzyme hydrolase or dehydrogenase mean uh, we will see it in the redox reaction the systematic name basically is the combination of these two uh, facts enzymes can be made of uh, enzyme name can be made of two parts the one part or word indicating the substrate and second word indicating the reaction or the action that particular enzyme is doing and the second part end with the suffix as for example lactate dehydrogenase in which in this uh, systematic name of this enzyme lactase is a substrate which is being converted into pyruvate by transferring uh, transferring its two hydride uh, um, atoms and being converted into the pyruvate so lactate first word indicating that uh, uh, its substrate and dehydrogenase is uh, indicating the uh, uh, about the uh, about the reaction of this uh, enzyme international union of biochemistry <coughs> iub developed a systematic name nomenclature in which each enzyme has unique name and code number that ident identify the type of reaction catalyzed and substrate involved in that reaction for example the iub name of hexokinase is atp d hexo 6 phosphotransferase and its ec number which is enzyme code or enzyme commission number is 2.7.1.1 in this ec number <coughs> the class the two indicates the class which is transferase the seven indicate the subclass which is transfer of phosphoryl group the one indicate the subclass subclass alcohol is the phospho uh, phosphoryl acceptor while the hexo 6 indicates that the alcohol phosphorylated is on carbon number 6 of hexo <coughs> there are few limitation of this uh, uh, nomenclature which is some enzymes retain their original name which give no hint of associated enzyme reaction like trypsin or pepsin we cannot judge anything from these name like pepsin the it uh, we cannot uh, correlate it with hydrolase transferase or any substrate uh, it's being uh, acted upon so Uh, there are few limitations of this nomenclature system so enzymes are very critical bi biomolecule of our body as enzyme allow reactions in the body that would be impossible 
otherwise almost all the reaction spontaneous reaction happening in our body either it in either in uh, forward direction or reverse direction we need enzymes for these spontaneous reaction that's the end of the today's lecture from today's lecture we will be able to know about the nomenclature system of the enzymes and few basic things about the enzymes in the next lecture inshallah we will discuss the classification of enzymes